moment time. Whoa, that's a different opening. Dealt Marauders and Concussor shells. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Looking to try and get a little bit more aggressive here, perhaps, and also have the ability of stopping units right in that track with that concussive shell is going to be very nice. Now, if you're blind, don't you think this is a tiny bit odd already? Because you saw two Hellions on the other side of the map, and now you see three at home. That's like five Hellions, you know? Whatever happened to making four Hellions, Todd? Yeah, I mean, it's Bly anyway, like it's just looking for an excuse to make units. And uh, we have the Roach Warren on the way now. <laughs> that how you see him? Yeah. And with the Armory, it's going to be Hellbats who synergize with his Mauders, which are still being hidden. Bly wants to see this super hard, by the way. Again, Link's coming in, but he's not going to be able to. He did see an insane amount of Hellions at this point, and I often think it's a little bit suspicious when the Terran player like tries to deny a scout at all costs, right? And the counter attack straight into the main base here. This this attack by Akron is going to have to do a ton. Ten Roaches on the way, he jumps on top of the Queens. They're going to be slowed down by the concussive shells here. The Matafak is very important. You can't just lose the Matafak immediately. The longer it stays alive, the better it will be for the Spanish Terran, who did lose seven SCVs on the other side of the map. That is very painful, so this attack needs to do a lot. And I'm afraid, Johan, it is going to get cleaned up rather easily, actually. Yeah, Black getting a ton of roaches here. Can Akron connect against these drones? They're trying to escape. Oh, my God. Not too many of them have died. You know, if he wouldn't have lost all those SUVs at home, I wouldn't even say this is that bad. But losing the seven or eight SUVs at home, I think that makes this a little bit more painful. Maybe a battle cruiser can get something done eventually. But, I mean, Bly right now actually has a lot of roaches. Can't he just run to the other side of the map? <laughs> He starts the Nidus. Yeah. Well, why run? Why run if you can teleport? Yeah, if you can tunnel there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make it 25 see. to 35. The BC. Can Wait, does he suspect? Yeah, but it's like one of those things. Right now, Bly walks into his base. He's like, what are you going to do about it? You'll do nothing. Oh. Right, like, well, Elbats are there. The Viking as well is going to have to land here. See if he's being pulled off the line. He's trying to get a surround, I guess. I actually kind of like how he's doing this, super far away from the Queens, right? I mean, yes, SCVs are going down, but I think that's the best possible way that Acheron could be dealing with all of this. He really wants to shut down the second Nidus, and he does shut it down. Johan, 15 SCVs have gone down, but if this is what it stays at, it's really not bad with Trip Orbital. Yeah. Wow, I think that's a hold. Well, for now, let's see. There's a second BC on the way, it's almost out. Yeah, that second. And don't forget, those BCs can just jump to the other side of the map as well. Bly really needs to do way more Akron. than he's done so far. He's going to build Spore Crawlers in the main base of the Terran. Yeah, those BCs do a ton of damage against ground. Running out of Queens here, but there's still a ton of roaches left. They're going to try to breach into the natural... I think Actually, they're just going to stay there. Do you think he can build one more BC? He's going to build one more. Yeah. I actually think that he's holding this, man. He can always Yamato those spores anyway. Actually, has he, has he used Yamato? Maybe he cancelled or...? Yeah, maybe... No, nope. there we oh, go. No, yeah, there it is. Oof. Yeah, he, the queen he Yamato the Queen before as well. So he's going to lose a few more SCVs, and this is obviously where it gets a little bit painful. But guys, three Battlecruisers can absolutely win this game on the other side of the map. You just don't want to drop to like five, and I'm actually afraid that it's starting to look like he is going to drop two. Well, pretty close to five, Johan. Oh my god, so many SCVs have died. 47 already so far in this game, Battlecruisers. Clean oh, the big time. oh, that's a shame. Oh my God. That is a bloody shame. Because if he had three BCs, I actually believe that he could have won it on the other side of the map. I don't know if he can win it with two. Yeah, and I think Bly might just keep on being aggressive. Six SCVs now to 33 drones. There's still hope, though. I know I know, people don't believe me when I say that. But I believe in BCs and I believe in Triple Orbital. And Aquaron actually has both of those things. He just needs to make sure that he can actually prevent he these Nidus. He has triple so even though it's 7 SCVs against 33 drones, yeah, he still has triple close. the income of the Zerg. And Bly is not slowing down, he's still committing, and that means that there is still some hope as well for the Spanish Terran. This could be epic, Johan. I know he only has 8 SCVs, guys, and if he loses, don't be mad at me, but... He needs to repair. I just believe in the Terran comeback. He now. really needs to repair those BCs, because Queens are finally going to deal with them otherwise. Yeah. I know that he obviously he cannot lose a, a BC, that would be disastrous. I think he's winning. I know that's crazy, but... Really? Yeah. I really think he is. Fly has 29 drones. Yes, and that's nothing. What are you going to do? Like, build one corruptor a minute? Fly is still committing. The Bly is really all in. Like, you can just lift that orbital to the left side, right? Like, why don't you just float that orbital to 6 o'clock? Three BCs, yo! Oh, my God. What is he going to do about it? Wow. Is this a hold or what? 
I mean, he still. I mean, he can repair. That's the thing. Yeah. Like unless he plays really sloppy, he shouldn't lose any of these no, guys, no, especially because no. they got tactical wow, that jump. Was sick, actually. He just dodged the Yamato <laughs> into the Nidus. That's very well done. Can we see the units lost? That? <laughs> Ten minutes in, fifty-seven Roaches have died, huh. seventy-four SCVs, and he still got nine. He's oh my god! That one middle back cruiser. Uh! No! Oh my oh god! Oh my god! That's way too close for comfort. What is one that? Hit one, hit one hit point! One hit point! Oh, the queen gets it from downtown. Oh my god! Okay, that's a big loss, but he is almost getting a new battle cruiser. Ah, oh, but that was not supposed to happen, though. How yeah. did you lose a BC to Queens, my friend? He's nervous. Yeah, he is. I mean, it's obviously His hard. Palms right? are sweaty. <laughs> there is creep all over his main base, but Bly is so all in. Like, actually, he's so, so, so all in. Oh no, the fusion core. That's actually a big This is loss. epic in every single way. There yeah. is one link chipping away at the fusion core, which is going to burn down, meaning he can't start any more BCs after the third one's going to finish. Queen's going to get Yamato. And just those kill, spores, just kill the spores, they're going to get sniped again. He's going to start new ones. I think but keep in mind, Blind doesn't have many drones. He he's half trying to replace them. Yep. And I mean, sure, he's killing SCVs, but it's triple orbital, baby. It's triple orbital and three battle cruisers. Acheron with the hold of a lifetime. As long as he doesn't lose more BCs to Queen's and sports he's gonna win this game you want because Bly is broke as a joke and he's repairing so well now double triple SCVs here really helping out with his Bly running out of spores here he's gonna have to get out of here tactical jump to the other side of the map the only thing you have to be worried about is that you don't get Nidus again right yeah would you well, jump? then don't jump <laughs> okay well he jumps all three man oh he doesn't God. care he's it's like Spire is on the way but it's only now starting those battle cruisers uh, well, actually, there's two spores plus a bunch of queens here, yeah. but I mean, he could land one or two mule and repair a bunch. I yeah, but like cannon is going to help a ton. Oh my god, those queens get melted. This was like the worst spot to actually jump, right? There's no way that he has three spores per base. Maybe it doesn't matter. He's doing a ton of damage. Oh, just don't but this is shooting. what I was very worried about because now he's going to lose all mining. He has nothing at home. He can't jump at home. So these BCs, they need to find the spy. Where is that spy? Okay, he found it. Oh, that's massive, Yon. That's massive. Three BCs and a couple of mules, baby. <laughs> One SCV. Does he have tactical jumps? No, so. that's going to take a while. But he doesn't need to jump. He ain't leaving. He ain't leaving. They need to get... They're going to have to send the National Guards. <laughs> yes, that's pretty much what... I oh. ain't going nowhere. I was thinking of what they had to send in, but... <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen that fantastic movie. All right, just don't lose your Can BCs. he kill him with just that? With the three BCs? Yeah. Absolutely, mate. Oh my god, he's poor. Wrong way. Absolutely. Yamato is going to keep on reloading as well. Yeah, he just scans somewhere because he wants to make sure there's not another Spire going up. What is this game? This is a fantastic game. Starcraft at its finest. It took Nation Wars oh, and no, Spain to go up against Ukraine orbitals. for us to see this, this gem of the game. Oh my god, this is going to burn down. Wait, did he also lose the Orbital in the main? Don't. No. Okay, with one Orbital, this changes things. That's another queen, though. How did he just lose two orbitals, two zerglings? So, wait, Bly only has that one hatchery left? Can we can we Yamato that, the, the Spire? Uh, another queen pops, oh another queen falls. Spores How many gone. kills do these BCs have? Like, this is ridiculous. Okay, 20, but the Spire is up. But well, what can he 31. make? 31. Is that 55, 59? Yeah. Oh, my God. 60. I mean, he has a Spire now, but he's got no money. He has money. a bunch of Yamato, by the way. Imagine if Akro now that. loses because he forgets that Terran Bull is going to fly. That'd be something, right? Oh my god, there's so many spores. Oh. He's trying to outrun them. The mule's trying to repair as well. There's still a little bit of economy. Oh. He's got minerals <laughs> and gas. And the hatchery is going to no. go down. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, wait, what? He jumps home? Where did he... Oh, he just killed the main. Well, uh, that's pretty good. No, no more mining for Bly. Bly's out of money. Well, he can remake that, but I can't get Yamato again. Yeah. And then he would be out. I mean, that's, yeah, he loses if that dies. I think he loses anyway. Yeah, of course. He's super dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to take a while. <laughs> what a game. Yeah, especially with Bly. Because if you think fantasy is bad, let me introduce you to my Ukrainian <laughs> friend Bly. <okay? laughs> <laughs> Come on. Making fantasy look like an early lever. No, yeah. right? To be honest, like I mean, he's got that... What if Akron he... somehow flew in... Too hastily yeah. there, you know. Sometimes I mean, if you're telling yourself that if my opponent loses three battle cruisers to static defenses, I can still win this game. I think it's probably time to call it a game. 
He's gonna try to move everything to cover the hatchery, but it goes down. He cancels it at the last second. He still has enough minerals to restart the hatchery. But you're not gonna. He's st there's still one orbital, right? Can you fly the orbital to the other side of the map? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Just fly near your BCs. So you can start mining a little but bit. But Aquaron doesn't know how many hatcheries there are, so maybe he feels like he has to make something happen now, and then he loses patience and flies these into spores. Yeah, I, I, I think. Obviously, you, you're always worried, but I think he knows. I think he knows that he's more than good here. He could repair more, actually. He can land his orbital, send a mule there. Yeah. He's gonna do that. Just don't lose it. Dude, that's like, just drop or some not. mules. Maybe he's scanning. Oh, he's afraid that maybe the links are gonna jump. Well, the links are gonna go under the BC No, <laughs> for the mules. Like, you don't want to drop a mule and then lose it immediately, right? Yeah, but under the BCs to repair them. Yeah, I know. Like, I understand dropping the mule to repair it. I think he just didn't want to drop it with Zerglings nearby, because if he drops a mule, he wants to actually properly repair his BC. Yeah, but like, Zerglings are gonna run under three BCs and attack a mule? Why not, Todd? They're fearless. Because <laughs> they would die in like one second! <laughs> yeah, so will that mule, mate. <laughs> you make it sound like mules are very tanky. Under three BCs, they can... They can... <laughs> what? Welcome to StarCraft. Let's get moving with the payload. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna gather with the CC. But we know that Overwatch League Finals wasn't exactly what you guys hoped for, so we're gonna do it the StarCraft way, okay? This is not a 4-0. This one is closer. There are the meals. That's exactly what they do, Todd. Yeah, they that killed meal. one and then the other one's gonna repair everything. <laughs> well done. You lost 50% of your army. Bly, you've got eight drones, and you have two army supply, my friend. It does, like, does okay, Bly look, really look at the army supply. Does Bly really believe... He's got four links against three BCs. <laughs> if you say it like that, it's even more ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> like, but the funniest thing is also that he needs to get... First of all, he needs to get way more drones. Then he needs to get a lair. Then he needs to get either an infestation pit or a spire. And then he can maybe fight the three most expensive units in the game. Now, I like a man with a vision, don't get me wrong. But at this point, I think you're delusional if you think you can win this. Death by Yamato. Hey, and That's also, what he chose. And that means, by the way, that uh, we will for sure get to see Aquaron, Aquaron versus uh, Hellraiser. And yeah. I think that's going to be a very fun matchup. Because Hellraiser, PvT is good. 73 kills on one BC. That's like a, that's over 150 kills, right, on these three? Yeah, yeah closing in on 200. 47, 30. Unreal. And they ain't done yet. Bly's gonna build some that's more. That's exactly 150, actually. I just did the math. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that Bly thinks that Akron is just gonna lose all these units to static defenses? Is I think he thinks that, yes, but in. 15 seconds, he's gonna realize that this is not the case. I would almost feel disrespected if my opponent thinks that I'm gonna fly BCs into spores and lose them. I think that's an insult on my ability to play this video game. All right, there we go, Akron. Wow. Brings it back, it's now three.